What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Pack Bros channel. My name's Rob. My name's Chris. And today we are we have a special box break, a very special box break for me. I've never broken one of these before. I happened to find it on eBay and I jumped all over it. I actually got five boxes of 2002-2003 Parkhurst. 24 packs per box, one memorabilia card per box. There are serial numbered cards as well, and there are some autos mixed in. Why is this product so special to me? Flipping over to the side here, you'll take a look that we have a lot of game use stuff, but there's actually a dedicated, three dedicated subsets to Mario Lemieux, who is my personal collection. I have, I think, 1,056 unique Lemieux cards at this point, growing every week, uh, varying from one of ones to base, you name it, I collect it, I want one of everything. Uh, but they have a magnificent insert set uh, over here, which are just jersey cards that are print run to 40 or 10 uh, of Lemieux. It also has a there's Mario's Mates, which is a duel of Mario Lemieux and his teammates, or I guess I'd, I'd call them his, his competition or his uh, foes, uh, which has a dual jersey on the card. And there's also a magnificent inserts auto set which I don't see listed here, but essentially it's the Magnificent Inserts portion, but autographed versions of them, uh, meaning he has hard side in the product, and they run fifth out of 15 or out of five. All of these would be additions to my first collection. I don't have any of them. They're very rare to come by. They sell for easily $150 to $200 a piece. Mm -hmm. I got these boxes for 80 Canadian, and I got five. So you guys are going to be watching us break quite a bit of this stuff. I'll throw some other ones in here. Uh, and I'm really excited for it. One, because there's 24 packs, and you don't get many 24-pack boxes for 80 bucks nowadays. Nope. And two, it's rare as a Lemieux collector for me to pull Lemieux stuff these days because he's not in every product. Yep. Obviously, he's retired. Uh, and obviously, they're not making as much of him anymore uh, without a tribute to the legend. So this is, you know, back when he came back from his first retirement. A lot of cool stuff in here. And in general, just a lot of cool cards, to be honest with you. There's some nice rookies. I can't remember the top of my head who 2002, 2003 rookies are. But I know they have rookie uh, products in here as well. And uh, really excited to see what's in here. When it comes to who manufactured this product, and I'll start talking about that as I open this, I'm almost like nervous to open this. This is a 19-year-old box. It's almost as old as I am. It's crazy. In the game manufactured this, and for new collectors, uh, probably don't know who In the Game is as a, a a card company. Back in the 2000s, when Panini also had access to hockey, and unfortunately, uh, well, I shouldn't say unfortunately, but in my opinion, unfortunately, Upper Deck owns the rights to all hockey products now. In the Game was an independent company owned by a gentleman by the name of Dr. Brian Price, and he manufactured cards because he has a massive personal memorabilia collection. Mm -hmm. Like an obscene amount, what do you want? One, two, three, four. One and two. An obscene amount of product. So he, built, he made cards and uh, got autographs, and he was very much recognized as a real competitor in the uh, hockey card market. And unfortunately, uh, that's changed now. He is still manufacturing cards with Leaf, but however, uh, they aren't NHL licensed, so they can't put the mm. jersey logo on. Anybody on their cards is either blank, or if they're owned by Upper Deck, they can't even put the, the player's face Oh, really? Yeah, it's very watered down. But yeah, I'm really, really hopeful these cards aren't sticking together. Um, yeah, sometimes fingers crossed. Over time, that happens. But uh, let's get it going here. You know what I like about this right off the bat? Mm. It looks like money. <laughs> That's just the way it is. All right, so it doesn't seem like uh, there's a little bit of stickage here. A little bit. A little bit or a lot of it? A little bit. Okay. Right. So that's a Chris Osgood base, Sergei Samsonov base. This is a subset, which is pretty neat. I believe it's called Parker's Reprints. So these are this is an old Parker's um, card, but they reprinted it on modern stock. As you can see there, it's from 1961 to 1962. Wow. Uh, player being Dick Duff. So that's the exact same design that they had. Just uh, they redid it. Um, they also did have redemptions back then. This is a he shoots, he scores redemption for Eric Lindros when he played for the Rangers a bit. Basically, you would collect a bunch of these as points. And then you would trade them in, and uh, that would trade in for a, a redemption card of, I can't remember exactly what it was, but uh, these actually sell, believe it or not, now. Really? They're considered, because this is considered an Eric Lindros card. Huh. And then we have two more base here, a little stickage of Manny Fernandez and Peter Bondra. So where are the hits line in this? Is that in the middle? Probably in the middle. You're going to see it. Okay. It's one memorabilia per box, so... Guaranteed. Guaranteed one memorabilia per box. I don't know how many serial numbers we're going to find. I don't know how many rookies we're going to find. But well, uh, they do exist. We're going to find out. We have Adam Oates. 
That stickage right there. Yeah. Felt like uh, there was a little bit of stickage there. We have Eric Daze. Eric Daze. Daze, sure. And we have Bob and Nevin. I'm assuming yeah. that's another one of the yep. Parkhurst. What was it, Parkhurst reprint? Yeah, yeah, Parkhurst reprints. Okay. Set that one off to the side. He shoots one. He scores one. Joe Sack. <laughs> so that's a he shoots, he scores redemption card. One represents how many points that card was worth towards the redemption system. Oh, okay. Yeah. I like that. So this Lindros is worth two. Right. Now we got Jason Smith and Brendan Shanahan. Nice. You know what's funny? I bet you I'm going to know more of these players and know their names better because I played NHL 2002-2003 so much on the GameCube. Like, religiously, I played that. Uh, I think we have our hit in here. Unless, uh, it Actually, could be redemption. So, well, One of my best memories Let me lose this up. from that game and just hockey in general was I was playing as the Penguins. Yeah. I think it was like career mode or something, and yeah. I was doing the face-off at the start of the game as Mario Lemieux. Yep. And I didn't know at the time because I was a child, but... There was this glitch where if you pressed A enough times, sometimes the puck would go straight, straight into through <laughs> and into the net through the five hole. I scored it with Mario Lemieux in the first second of the game. I lost my mind. <laughs> Joe Thornton base back when he was with Boston. Miroslav Shatan. Yarmer Yager shoots he scores worth two points. Mike York. Yannick Perot. And Grant Marshall. I'm not sure if any of these are going to say if they're a rookie or not. You know, like kinda, RC indicator. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. Back then, you just kind of had to know. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. It depends. It's, it's product by product, but I'm not well, sure. Some, there's some large stickage here. I'll tell you that much. Yeah, just be careful when you peel it. It doesn't look. Luckily, there's no residue on the cards from what I'm seeing. It's just a little bit of. Yeah. Stickage. I talked to the guy who I bought it from. He literally bought it back then and sat on it. Wow. Yeah. There's. It's just been sitting in his house for almost two decades. That's crazy. He shoots one, he scores one of Martin Brodeur. I'm just trying to unstick. Makes me really nervous. Brian Rolston, is, what was that? Rolston? Yeah, Rolston. God, there really is some stick to these. Yeah. It's yeah. not like terrible, but it's consistent. Doug Gilmore and Pavel Datsu. Okay, so it turns out that the rookies in this product are numbered on the back from 201 to 250. So that's what we'll be looking for, because I can't remember off the top of my head who was a rookie back in... Uh, these days this pack feels really thin so i almost feel like super stuck together i was gonna say the jersey card but i mean like, like, like that's real stuff it's literally <laughs> that is one card so we got a mike modano base kevin weeks base he shoots he scores again low worth worth three Angles. niedermeyer base le cavalier base and it's got hartnell base give it a quick flip over here to see if i got any rooks and we do not no the, rooks yet. No rooks yet. Um, the parallels for the base, there is bronze, silver, and gold, uh, numbered 150 and 10. Uh, it will not be numbered on it. It's just going to be a different color. So mm -hmm. keep your eyes peeled. Roberto Longo. Charlie Hodge. My dude, Charlie. Yeah, another Aginla. He shoots his scores. Yes, another Aginla. And even more stickage. Jason Arnott and Andrew Castles. Any rookies in there? That's a nope. That's a big nope. All right. So no memorabilia yet. Nothing numbered yet. I wasn't too sure how the numbered cards would fall. I know that, as I said at the beginning, memorabilia cards are one a box. Brad Richards, Zygmunt Palfi, Parker's throwback from the 50s wow. of Ray Timbrin. That looks like someone just took a took a nice tea bag and just let it <laughs> stay there for like a decade. Martin Brodeur, he shoots, he scores. Rostislav Klesla and Mike Fisher. And we have no rookies. Moving on with my next pack here. If I can unstick them. This is going to be half the video. It's just unsticking cards. I'm going to get ahead. Guys, just to save you guys the hassle watching this unstick cards, I'm going to start opening this pack and unsticking it. That's fair. Uh, this feels like something. What, the Ronick? You sure nothing's stuck on it? It just it, it looks more silver oh, than silver. the other yeah, ones. Yeah, silver. That's at a 50. Silver. There you go. Number right there in the back. Flip it Where? over. Bottom mid. Oh, would you look at that? See that? Wow. wow that is not the number I'm used to. <laughs> there you go. Jeremy Roenick at a 50 right there. Crazy. Crazy pulls right there. Not a bad player to pull at a 50. He shoots one. Oh, sorry. He shoots. He scores. Worth one point. There you go. Owen Nolan. Okay. No, that was just thick. Uh, Sergei Fedorov yep. and what is that? Jure Lettien. <laughs> Yuri Lettinen. Yuri Lettinen. Sure. That works. Definitely not French. I tried. <laughs> Double check. Oh, that 195 made me hopeful. All right. Flipping back here, I got a regular Ronick base. A Gary Roberts. There's a leaf throwback. And there you go. Right there on the side, it says rookie card, so we don't need to pick ah, the back anymore. Thank you. Alexander Svidov. 
Nothing that is that special. Oh, it's numbered out of 500. Hey, rookie card out of 500. So, correction, it looks like all rookies are print run. So, there there is no regular rookie. They're all run out of something, 500 being the worst, uh, going okay. down to 10. Peter Forsberg shoots, he scores. And then Radim Verbata and Peter Forsberg base. It's fun seeing a lot of these old names. No, it's really taking me back to the GameCube days. <laughs> Moving on with my next pack here, we have Jason Allison, Tony Amont, Amonte. Amonte. There's your rookie. There's the rookie. Alexei Smirnov, out numbered out of 500. He shoots, he scores. Brennan Shanahan. And then we have Oleg... Tverdowski. Yes, that's... And Espen Knudsen. Yeah, I think I got that right. I'm just going to go with it. I think you did too. We got a Pierre Turgeon. Jeff Friesen. He shoots, he scores. Owen Nolan, one point. Jocelyn Thibault. Donald Brashear. And Craig Conroy. Still looking for that jersey card. Still looking for it, and we'll get there. I know you collect penguins. Do you want this one? Yeah, for sure. Alex Kovalev. Kovalev was a great player, actually. I'll set that one off to the side for you. Milan Hedgeduk. Hej Hedduk. Hedduk. And we have another throwback card here. Canadians on guard. He shoots, he scores with Patrick Roy. Wah. 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 You got no Patrick Wah. No, I don't. Wah. Come on. Wah. Wah. There. I know how to say it. I don't know him. I can't believe that. He's one of the greatest goalies ever. And I don't know goalies. There's Adam Foote. The only goalie I actually know is uh, Fleury. Mark andre Fleury? Yes. I thought at least you know Wah. Wah's like one of like... Most people would argue he's like top 10 ever. I mean, like, I know the name. I just, I didn't know the gravity of the situation here. Yeah, it's quite large. Alexei Yashin. Nikolai Habibulin. Lucky you didn't get that one. Yep. Peter Forsberg, he shoots, he scores. Brian McCabe, another familiar leaf face from back in the day. Had a really wicked uh, slap shot from the blue line on the power play. Trevor Linden and Daniel Alfredson. Marcus Naslin. Jeff Jilson. He shoots, he scores. Joe Sackick. Richard Zednick nice. and Brandon Morrison. Oh, one more. Ray Whitney. Okay, we have a Evgeny Nabokov. So I did a good job on sticking this, but I didn't. Alan McCauley. Floyd Curry Retro. Steve Eiserman, he shoots, he scores. Worth two. David Legwand and Igor Lariana. Igor. I always like that name. It's a strong name. Sounds like a henchman. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go with the Glenn Murray. Oh, spoiling it a little bit. Sammy Kapanen. 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 Sydney Bootnose Abel. Sid Abel. Legend. Didn't know his nickname was Bootnose. Yeah, well, now you know. He shoots, he scores. Jose the What is that? Jose Theodore? Jose Theodore. Kristen Huselius. Huselius. And Jerome McGill. All right, we got a Rob Blake. Byron Defoe. He shoots, he scores. Mark Messier, one point. Paul Correa, Mika Noronen, Mark Pambrader. So we've hit two rookies so far, maybe a quarter of the box to go. Quarter of the box to go, no memorabilia yet. Two rookies. Nothing yet. Nicholas Lindstrom. I think this one's stuck, yep. Roman Chukmanic and a rookie card. Ooh, Patrick Sharp nice. of the Philadelphia Flyers, numbered out of, out of 100. 100. Okay, okay. What's his jersey Solid. number? Jersey number oh, 51. 51. So flipping it back over. A lot of people, if if the this first number matches their jersey number, the card goes up in value because they feel like it's almost like a, it's a unique piece. Some people call it a one of one. I don't consider it a one of one. Yes, there's only one of that card in the world. But like if this is Lemieux, for example, and it was numbered sixty six out of hundred, I immediately probably would go up by twenty five to thirty percent value. Wow, just because okay, of, it's that much. Eh? Yeah, it's significant. Wow, to the right person. All right, that's good to know from now on. Yes, Just great rookie card to get, by the way. Uh, the rookie class in this one, I, we have it up on the screen here in checklist. I think that's probably one of the better ones. Rick Nash would be a great rookie to pull. Jay Bomeister, Mike Camilleri, Tim Thomas. Uh, but uh, I'd say Patrick Sharp is probably top top five to seven. Oh, Zetterberg's Ooh. in here too. Top five to seven rookies to pull. And we got the Solid. bronze the bronze version of 100. So nice hit. Good stuff. Brian Rola Rafalski yep. and Michael Nylander. All right. So that's three rookie cards now. And once we're at four serial numbered cards. I will admit, I put a few packs off to the side that look thicker than the other ones. You are holding out on all of us. <laughs> Anson Carter. Chris Drury. Bobby Vaughn. From 61-62. That's a Parkhurst Retro. He shoots, he scores. Mike Modano. 
for two. Andrew Brunette and Steve Sullivan. Getting really good at unsticking cards. <laughs> Brent Johnson. Sakugoivu. And another way back. I was going to say way back playback. That's yeah. my radio day. Sorry. A throwback. Alex Peter Del... Del Vecchio. Del Vecchio. He's, oh. Hey, Matt Sandin. That's go. another guy I know. Guy you know. I know him. Mike Comrie and Eric Brewer. All right. Getting down the last couple packs here. I think we each have two left. Rob Brendamore. Radic Bonk. He shoots, he scores. Hey. Mario Lemieux. I'm not sure if I have this one, actually. Uh, three points are more rare. That's, yes. that's the reality of it. I, I know I have some of his he shoots, he scores, but I'm not sure if I have this one. So we'll set that to the side just to double check my uh, database. Eric Lindros, Johan Hedberg, and Brendan Witt. I really hope we don't get short of the memorabilia card. We're down to three packs. Oh, no, we're going to be fine. Oh, you got it? Pretty sure I did. <laughs> Pretty sure. There we go. All right, Yarmy Yager. Olaf Kolzig. Ooh, what is this? Hockey Hardware 2003 Hart Memorial Trophy Wild Card. I swear to God, if that's the memorabilia, I'll be very upset. It's a Hockey Hardware Redemption Program. I swear to God, can I see it? Yep. He shoots, he scores. Pavel Beer. Martin Havlat and Robert Lang. I think this might be the jersey card, and I'm very upset by it. It's a redemption. So, this is a redemption, and basically what it says, guys, is that uh, you fill it in, you, you, you mail it in to the address, and if one of those ten people down here win it if sorry if one of these people win it they match it to whoever is on the front of the card you get a jersey card of that person numbered out of 10. Uh, this being the wild card basically anybody but these nine people would have to win it do i know who won it that year absolutely not uh do i know that this is expired absolutely yes damn 2003. i really hope that's not the jersey card but uh i guess we'll find out in the next pack or two i did not think this product had redemptions early 2000s in the game did not think I ever have So would that be worth anything to anyone? Not really. Because you can't be redeemed for anything. Damn. Maybe like, you know, to the collector. Like, like the ultimate collector. The ultimate collector. It's like, oh, that's, you know. Because somebody who did pull that back in the day would have sent it in. Yeah. So they're not in circulation. But, I mean, it doesn't even represent a player. Yeah. If it at least represented, like, if because my understanding, since there's 10 here, I bet you there's a Lemieux variation to this. Probably. That'd be cool. Yeah. I'd keep that. But it, it's, it's a wild card. It means nothing. It's a Carter. Oh, I. That's a jersey card. Hold on. I'm pretty sure. It's either a jersey or an auto. Let's cut everything I just said. <laughs> flip running. Let's flip this over here. Eric Lindros base. Alexander McGillney base. Martin Erat base. Cliff running. And we have a jersey card of Alex Tange for the Colorado Avalanche. Good player. Not sure what this card is numbered out of. If any, but uh, there you go, Alex Tange, SP game used jer or game used jersey card. You know what? I think you may have just gotten the best one. This, this isn't looking as thick as I thought it was originally. <laughs> yeah, I don't even think I got a good one in here. I think you got the best one. Scott Gomez, Curtis Brown, Patrick Wah. Thank you. You're welcome. Mika Kiprusov. Yep. He shoots, he scores. Jeremy Roenick. Yeah, it totally psyched me up. I thought this one was thicker than uh, the <laughs> other one. Brad Hall. Brad Hall. So, you actually got both of the, I guess, quote-unquote hitters, except for that redeem. There we go. Uh, give a second, guys. Quick hits are coming at you. All right, guys. Quick hits coming at you now of our first box of 2002-2003 Parkers. Uh, off the top, Mario Lemieux, he shoots, he scores, worth three points. I'm only mentioning that because it's a PC card for me. Anytime I pull Lemieux, it's a big hit. We got a Jeremy Roenick silver base variation out of 50, short printed. Alexander Svitov, rookie card out of 500. Alexei Smirnov, rookie card out of 500. A Patrick Sharp, bronze rookie card out of 100. A game used jersey of Alex Tange. And lastly, this was not a big hit. It would have been a big hit back in the day. A redemption card for the Hart Memorial Trophy. Basically, if any of these people win it, the person who redeems that specific card gets a card, jersey card numbered out of 10 of that person. Uh, turns out that number five, Jose Theodore, 
won the Hart Trophy this year, uh, meaning this card would have been worthless at that time, uh, just as it is now. Not that much of a loss, then. Not that much of a loss. All right. Uh, so, I think we hit three rookies, a uh, total of four serial-numbered cards, a game-used jersey. What do you think of the product? That was a lot of fun. There was a lot of old names there that I remember because I used to play so much on uh, the GameCube. <laughs> so, this was... Even though this was so long ago, it was still comfortable for me. Plus, anything Penguins-related, especially a Lemieux-centric product, yeah. even though I don't PC him... Penguins is just a part of our family, yeah. really. Rob is one that really took it to the extreme, as well as our uncle. But everybody still likes the Penguins in our family. So it's regardless of if it's uh, he shoots, he scores Lemieux or another Lemieux, it's still fun to hunt for it. For sure. And honestly, I mean, like, this is probably, I can't imagine there's much more of this product out there that's unopened. So the fact that in 2021, I get to open this product is pretty cool. Um, I'm tempted to keep one sealed just because it is like Lemieux on it. So it is almost a collector's piece in itself to actually just have the box, yeah. you know, with with that there. But um, I'd be upset if there's a Lemieux card in here and I didn't pull it myself and have that you, story yeah. for my personal collection yeah. and say, I pulled this in 2021. Yeah. Go check it out on Pack Bros. Subscribe, comment, like. But anyways, uh, I'd be upset with that. So, I mean, four boxes left. You know, hopefully you guys can stick with us for the journey. Uh, for all my, uh, you know, old-time collectors or older collectors out there, hopefully you enjoy the names and enjoy, you know, seeing this product and saying, oh, I remember that guy uh, when he played for whatever the case may be. Because as I look at this product, I see a lot of players and I forget that that player played for that team at some point. Yeah. Example, Brett Hall for the, the Red Wings. Um, I don't think of Brett Hall Red Wings. I think Brett Hall St. Louis. But Brett Hall did spend some time with the Red Wings. So, anyways, more boxes to come. Thank you for joining us on this one. As I mentioned, please like this video. Please subscribe. We have a lot more content coming. Uh, as you can see, if you have been following us, our setup is changing a little bit. Mm -hmm. Adding a little bit more brightness to the situation. Um, brightness for the cards, not for our faces. But nevertheless, we hope you guys enjoy it. The more you support us, the better we'll get. The more products we'll open. We want to open everything. If it's something you guys want, we'll open it. I don't care if it's Star Wars. I don't care if it's Garbage Pail Kids. I don't care if it's Pokemon, <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh, Digimon, Hockey, Basketball, Racing. We'll open it if there's something there of value and you guys want to see it. We just need you guys to tell us. So let us know that you're interested. And until next time, we'll see you.